Welcome to ComSpark. Today we are right here in Columbus, Ohio. I am Steve Greeter. I'm on the Executive Host Committee with ComSpark, and I will be your guest host today. Today we're here with Dave DuBose. He's a partner with True North Growth Partners, uh, also right here in Central Ohio. Dave, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Steve. Great to be with you. Absolutely. So for True North Growth Partners, um, you're seeing some macro trends in your business of the of the business that consulting the management consulting in relation to mm -hmm. IT. Could you go into some of those macro trends for us? Sure thing. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of really fascinating stuff, and I focus in the supply chain area more specifically. Um, if you look at that space, you're seeing a lot of applications with things like artificial intelligence, uh, automated machine learning, uh, to really. You, these things have been sort of, uh, these are technologies now that are really available and very robust that can help uh, supply chain leaders and practitioners um, execute against very complicated, uh, complex decisions uh, across their, what's usually a, a global uh, multinational supply chain. So those are very, very cool things. There are other things around, uh, you see uh, robotics, uh, you can turn on the TV, you can YouTube videos that are the cool things that are in factories and in distribution centers. And uh, those uh, robotics are in and of themselves, you know, very, you know, technological marvels, but also they uh, require sophisticated control systems to be able to manage their movements, uh, how they move around the distribution center, how they do things like picking and replenishment and so forth. So there's some exciting things going on um, that are really fueled by IT in the supply chain space. Without a doubt. First time I went to one of those warehouses that had that, yeah. I was blown away. Yeah, that's robots. amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it really was. Yeah, the robots are not coming, they're here, so. Uh. <laughs> that's right. So, in relation to the robots and the IT professionals, what, what advice would you give the business side people that are working with the IT professionals? Yeah, I would say really get immersed in a, uh, in a big transformation project, or any, it doesn't have to be huge. It could be something that's uh, more niche or uh, point specific, but really get immersed in that and really kind of learn uh, everything that you can about uh, the IT side of really making it happen. So if you're putting in, for example, a warehouse management system, which is you know a, a business side pro project, you're doing it to uh, improve your efficiency and your effectiveness as a logistics uh, organization, for example, make sure that you take the opportunity to understand about uh, the different phases of testing, about training and how that works, and about the things that um, really come together from an IT standpoint, people process the technology to make it all work. But the reason you want to do that is A, you're just going to be a better partner from a standpoint of you know Absolutely. being on the business side and, and, and understand you know their world better and what makes their world being the IT world better and what makes it uh, click for them. But also it's going to just uh, make you uh, more effective at helping you know really making decisions, facilitating decisions around the deployment of the technology. Makes sense. The, the more you understand the subject, the better off. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I found that for myself uh, personally uh, when I got into the space of really deploying uh, uh, large IT solutions in an enterprise, uh, and it, really there's no substitute for it. And there's still always going to be the break people side. Absolutely. So you've been a member of the Central Ohio IT community for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. So what cool things have happened? for you, for your business, by being a part of the Central Ohio IT community? Well, there, there's so many, Steve. It's, uh, I'll try to just pick on one or two items. Um, uh, for one thing, it has really gotten me um, uh, exposed to some concepts and ideas that uh, are just continue to sort of fill my brain up and really have application in my business selfishly. So, for example, the other day at the, the a CIO forum meeting, uh, we had a, a guy in who was talking, he was an expert on risk. He was talking about IT risk specifically, and that's all over the news, and you know, there's you know, breaches and credit card hacks and all that kind of stuff, but he was talking about how you quantify risk. And that in and of itself was a fascinating conversation. But also, and I spoke with the guy after the, uh, uh, after the meeting, uh, there are some direct translations to uh, the supply chain logistics space. So for example, what happens when a distribution center gets hit by a tornado, what do you do? Okay, that's a real world thing that can't, you have got your bid, you don't want it to happen, but it can happen, it disrupts your operations, what do you do? Uh, another thing is just the people, 
Um, there's so many people I've been exposed to that have really uh, taken my own thinking and my work in different directions that I wouldn't have expected. One, ex one example is an area that we focus on is labor uh, in the distribution centers and throughout the supply chain, which labor is very, very tight right now. Um, um, I've uh, gotten in touch with people like uh, James Brenza and uh, Maureen Metcalf, uh, and there's applications of things like uh, 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 I won't say big data, that's an old term, but machine learning and how you apply that for more effective decision making around uh, solving labor problems, but also uh, the, the, the uh, leadership side of it. So if you're a logistics and supply chain practitioner, how do you come in and really bring in the appropriate leadership uh, to, to bear in those situations? Now, several years ago, I might never have thought of that combination of things, but knowing people uh, and having coffee with folks and talking now, we're kind of in this um, discovery phase of some uh, some interesting ideas that I think could be applied in business. Makes plenty of sense. No one quite collaborates like we do in here. In Absolutely. Ohio. Amen. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Dave. Certainly appreciate the time today. Uh, for more information about Tech Power Players and the ComSpark Awards, please see comspark.tech. Dave, thank you very much. Thanks Dave. very much, appreciate Steve. It. Appreciate it.